All right, here we have the exponent review problems 15 through 18. These are a little more complicated. It basically uses almost every piece or every rule we have learned so far all in one problem. So I'll take you through those step by step. So the order of operations says that we're gonna solve parentheses first. So up here on the top of the fraction bar in the numerator section, we have power to a power. So this is gonna be four to the zero power. Now I know that makes one, but on some problems it's easier to wait to the very end and just leave it as four to the zero. On the bottom, we have multiplying like bases. Well, when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. So this exponent would be four plus a zero, which is simply four to the fourth. At this point, we can tell that we're pretty much uh, good to go. We can go ahead and call this one over four to the fourth, and that problem would be finished. However, you could also go ahead and subtract, since this is a division problem, and you would have zero minus four, which would be four to the negative four, which you would then make into a positive fraction. So either way, no matter which step you take, you're gonna get the same final answer. Number 16, two to the two is okay. We need to go ahead and simplify this part down here where the parentheses exist. So we have power to a power. We're gonna multiply the powers. So this is gonna be four times a negative four. So that'll create two with a negative 16 power. We're gonna bring this other piece over and we're gonna simplify the denominator now. So we have multiplying like bases. We're gonna add exponents. So on the bottom, we're gonna have two and when we add negative 16 plus three, we get negative 13. In the numerator, we have two to the second power. We just keep bringing that over. So at this point, we have a dividing like bases problem. And when you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents and the base stays the same. So we have a base of two and we're gonna subtract two minus negative 13. So once again, there's a little confusion there if you're not really good with your integers rules because a double negative creates a positive. This is the same as two plus 13. So our final answer is two to the 15th power. Good spot to use your calculator, two minus negative 13. Your calculator's gonna say that it's 15, which would be your exponent. Number 17, gonna start by simplifying up here because there are parentheses. Parentheses always take place first. We need to do those first. Power to a power, so we have four to the negative nine. Down here on the bottom, we can go ahead and simplify this. This is multiplying like bases, so we add the exponents, four to the fourth. Now we've created a new problem. It's dividing like bases problem, and that's gonna be negative nine minus four so we're gonna have four to the negative 13th power. We cannot leave it negative, so we create a fraction out of it. And we have one over four to the 13th power. Number 18, we're gonna go ahead and start with these parentheses. So two to the zero power times four. So this is power to a power. And it's gonna be two to the zero, because zero times four is zero. Down here on the bottom, we can simplify this. We are multiplying like bases, so we add the exponents. So that's gonna be two. And when we add two plus a negative four, that's gonna give us a negative two. Now, we have a dividing like bases problem. And so we're gonna do zero minus negative two. So I have this problem right here, two to the zero minus negative two. Well, this is where a lot of the problem exists, zero minus negative two. This becomes a plus, because it was a double negative. So zero plus two is a positive two. So you have two to the second power as your final answer.